Ford Nation is an opinion and discussion program that aired on the Canadian news channel Sun News Network. The show featured two sitting Toronto politicians, Mayor Rob Ford and his brother, City Councillor Doug Ford Jr., and was pulled from the network after only one airing on November 18th, 2013. A new online-only version of the show debuted on YouTube on February 10th, 2014. The title is a reference to the ardent, mainly suburban supporters of the Fords and their populist conservative agenda. Quick Facts Ford Nation, Genre, Talk Show, Web Series, Revival Presented by Rob Ford, Doug Ford Jr. Country of Origin, Canada Original Language, English Number of Seasons, 1 Number of Episodes, 1 uh, television series 5 YouTube production location Toronto Ontario running time 1 hour television 1 to 5 minutes YouTube release original network Sun News Network and YouTube for the revival original release November 18th 2013 and revived series February 10th uh, 2014 to April 3rd 2014 Chronology preceded by The City with Mayor Rob Ford, CFRB Radio. External links for Nation YouTube channel. Background. From February 2012 to November 3rd, 2013, the Fords hosted The City, a weekly two-hour Sunday afternoon show on CFRB Radio, which Rob Ford described as an, quote, unfiltered take on the work we do every day at City Hall, end quote. After months of controversy involving the mayor, criticism of the station for letting the Fords use the show as a, quote, bully pulpit, end quote, where their political allies were promoted and opponents cut down, and complaints to the Canadian Broadcast Standards Council alleging the show breached its code of ethics, CFRB announced in November 2013 that it and the Fords had mutually determined to end the city. According to one source, the mayor had been advised to end the show in order to avoid saying something spontaneously on the live broadcast that would escalate an ongoing controversy surrounding him at the time. On November 14th, the brothers were tapped by Sun News Network to host a weekly pre-taped one-hour program on the TV, new TV network to be titled Ford Nation. Since its 2011 launch, the Quebecor-owned Sun News has been known for its conservative-leaning hosts and topics, a political stance that was seen as meshing comfortably with that of the Fords. Content the lone airing of Ford Nation was broadcast on Monday, November 18th, uh, 2013, taking the 8 p.m. Eastern Time slot uh, normally occupied by Sun News Network's The Source with Ezra Levant. The format included a back-and-forth dialogue between Rob Ford and Doug Ford, with the former readmitting the personal mistakes he has made as mayor. It is what it is. I've made, admitted to my mistakes. Segments included discussions with Levant and Sun, Toronto Sun columnist Joe Warmington. Levant's appearance included a commentary critical of the Toronto Star's investigations into Rob Ford, with Levant liking the media's treatment of the mayor over his recent controversies to the paparazzi's hounding of Princess Diana. Cancellation and Revival as a Web Series On November 19th, 2013, less than 24 hours after Ford Nation's debut, Sun News Network announced it was cancelling the program after just one episode. Sun News cited the high production costs involved with the premiere episode. The show, taped one day before its airing, reportedly took five hours to record and an additional eight hours to edit, Additionally, the show met with advertiser resistance about being associated with the controversial politicians. Doug Ford, in a later conversation with the National Post, insisted that the brothers entered into the project with Sun with the understanding that Ford Nation was a one-off project 
one that was not intended to evolve into a prolonged status. Despite the show's expense and immediate cancellation, Ford Nation's sole episode attracted an audience of 155,000 viewers for the original broadcast, plus an additional 45,000 for its replay on primetime in Western Canada, and 65,000 downloads of the program online. The audience was, according to Sun News Vice President Corey Tanaki, by far the most successful thing from an audience perspective the network has ever done, topping a 2012 charity boxing match between Liberal MP Justin Trudeau, now Prime Minister of Canada, and Conservative Senator Patrick Brazo. Rob Ford's celebrity status, according to Doug Ford, has caught the eye of several reality television producers in both Canada and the United States. Councillor Ford stated that the brothers passed on those offers, but have taken an interest in suggestions by videographers for an online program that would retain the Ford Nation title and be posted weekly on YouTube. The program employed a format is similar to what the Fords enjoyed on CFRB's The City, with the Fords, quote, getting the message out, end quote, on various topics in a, quote, professional yet simple, end quote, presentation, with occasional interactions with guests and audiences. Councillor Ford announced the new show would be released on YouTube, quote, before Christmas 2013, end quote, a series of short videos under five minutes length was launched on YouTube on February 10th, 2014. In one segment, Mayor Ford admitted lying about his drug use. Others were lighter in tone, included, pre including predictions for the Stanley Cup playoffs and other remarks. In the second video, Ford named 18 councillors he wants defeated, offering his support in to any campaign opposing them. Thus far, each of the weekly episodes consists of three to five short videos of one to five minutes in length. Comments are disabled, however, the brothers occasionally answer viewer emails in the segments. The National Post described the program as, quote, a bizarro world version of Wayne's World, end quote. Five episodes of the web series aired, with some episodes broken up into several parts. No new episode has been filmed since April 2014, when Mayor Ford went into rehab for two months following the emergence of a new video of him smoking crack cocaine. See also the Toronto mayoral election of 2014. Notes. Sources referenced include the Huffington Post, the National Post, CTV Toronto, Toronto Star, CFRB News, Canada.com, The Globe and Mail, The Hollywood Reporter, Global News, The Ottawa Citizen, The Province, 